diving boards are something that are really worth the discussion, and there, there needs to be more open dialogue about diving boards and diving board safety. For people to understand why there are certain criteria in place, it, it's because of the closed head injuries, the spinal cord injuries, where when someone dives and they hit the flat top of their head, which compresses their spine, which creates all the, you know, paralysis and those types of things. The industry has tried to address that by looking at the angle of trajectory when you dive off of a diving board, how you're hitting the water. And in the residential realm, we've, we've had this huge shift over the last 30 years from these gigantic boards on teeny pools to tiny boards on gigantic pools. And what's happened is the spring has been taken out of the boards, so they're very stiff. It's almost like jumping off of concrete, but it does have a little bit of flex. And the idea being is that, it, that if it has more flex, it throws you farther into the air, which means your angle of trajectory into the water is steeper. So the steeper you go into the water, the deeper you go, and the deeper you go, the more likely you have a chance of hitting your head. With the steeper, with the regulations the way they are and the boards being, being stiffer, you get less of that vertical, so therefore you're going more horizontal, so the angle of trajectory into the water is less steep, and or the speed, the velocity is less. Is less. Ha keeping that in mind, that's only half the equation. Half the equation is the angle of trajectory in the water. The other half of the equation is what does the contour of the pool look like? What does the shape of the pool look like? There's a misnomer that a super deep pool is better for diving, which is really not true unless the pool is really, really large. So if, if a pool is... eight foot deep, let's call it, and you have that same pool, but nine foot deep or ten foot deep, and all the angles are, all the, all the measurements are the same, all you did was make that in, incline from shallow into deep end steeper, which makes it less safe, safe, not more. So a ten foot pool, 20 by 40, ten foot deep pool, is not safer to dive in than an eight foot deep pool, 20 by 40. You have to look at the length of that slope. If the di someone's diving in, what's that slope look like? If you make it steeper, the steeper the diving, the more likely you're going to hit directly on your head in that. So we, we want long, shallow slopes. So that, therefore the length. And there's a, there's a diving envelope. And the, it used to be the NSPI, which was the National Swimming Pool uh, and Spa Association, had all these guidelines as to what the proper... Uh, what the proper diving envelope should be, and, and not people don't really want to touch it too much because they got sued over diving board accidents. The NSPI did, and therefore they went out of. They had to file Chapter 11 or 7 bankruptcy, and they went out, and the new APSP came up came uh, to being. And we really don't have a good set of standards. It's not like the building code standard book for standard construction. There's guidelines, and NSPI had put out guidelines as to what diving board specs should be, and those guidelines were taken as God-given truth, which that meant the legal system could pursue them, which they did, and in fact sue them for millions of dollars because those guidelines weren't followed. So I don't know that anyone wants to touch it, but there's some loosely held guidelines as to what the right diving envelope is, and it has to do with the length and the width and the depth and the type of board. But what you're going to find, most residential boards are going to be pretty stiff. They're rarely going to be beyond 10 feet long. They're rarely going to be more than a half meter high. And they're going to be very stiff. And you're going to have to have a minimum of 7.5 to 8 feet of water. A 7.5 foot pool is 8 foot deep, typically. is what you depends on where you measure it. And you want to look at the length of the slope. Not so much the, the, the depth of the diving well, but the length of the slope. And if you do all those things and kind of mix them in combination, diving, diving is fine. Diving boards are safe. The challenge is you start adding those things up and people not understanding the guidelines and not understanding why we do things in a certain way, and that's when the problems happen. So diving boards are a slippery slope. It's a, it's a hard thing to discuss and say this is exactly how it should be because no one wants to put their finger, including myself, wanting to put my finger on exactly what a diving envelope should be and how it should look and what the right size board would be for the application. But I have a general sense of the guidelines and I use that within the realm of diving. I don't do diving boards very often anyway, they just don't fit into what I do. But if and when the occasion comes along, I have to look at all those aspects and make sure that the slopes are long enough and, 
then we have the right uh, diving envelope for that board. Mm -hmm.